Good day to you, ladies and gentlemen. Guru Larry here once again with my good friend Stuart Ashen. Hello there. Hello. And we'll be doing to much medium demand once again a follow-up to our E3 2013 video as sort of a large amount of stuff, well, medium amount of stuff has actually happened in the minutes following up from our video. I know. Basically, we did it, Larry. Within hours of our podcast going up, Microsoft completely turned 180 degrees on their... Um, weird second-hand policies mm, our videos our words carry so much brevity even giant conglomerates conglomerates <laughs> fall in our in our wake yes that, that was definitely it it was our brevity yes. yeah um so all three of you out there who ne didn't don't know what's happened uh microsoft recapped on their copyright stuff uh didn't they Yes, completely reneged on the lot of it. They've said, we're not doing that now, we're just going to do it like the PS3 on PS4 on discs. Please buy it, please stop hating us. Yes, please. Yeah. So what they're going to be doing now is uh, you can buy second-hand games and sell them, obviously. Well, obviously, mm. they'll be new at one point, but yeah, be able to do that. And also, uh, there's no... Uh, you're going to have to stay uh, connected to the machine every 24 hours, so that's gone as well. Yep. Uh, but they've said that for doing that, that you can't download games onto the hard drive and keep them there now. That's gone. Yes. And you can't uh, sell digital games either now, apparently. No, nope, they're doing away with that bit, which is, well, they never fully explained how that would work. But And also, you're not going to be able to digitally lend them to people, so you can't, you know, give it to your mate in Scotland or something and let him download it and play it while you're not. You'd have to physically get the disc to him. Mm. But so yeah, it's, it's, it's a funny a good, old thing. Is that well, a good thing or a bad thing, though? It's a good thing, of course, because... Um, I, I mean, I can see where Microsoft were coming from. They just explained themselves ludicrously badly. They were, you mm. know, thinking, oh, man, you're going to get all these extra things. You're going to be able to, like, magically lend people your games on the internet. It's going to be great. Yeah, yeah, that's all wonderful. But you're going back on the major point, which is that when you physically buy a game and have the disc, you do have the major thing of it still has some value. Mm-hmm. And when you, it becomes entirely digital, it's got piss-all value. And, you know, people are not ready for that change yet. They still want their $40 purchases to be worth something afterwards, mm. you know. I would also say it's still digital still doesn't work on a closed system like the Xbox and the PS4 because there's no competition. Yeah, exactly. You're not going to be getting a Steam sale where all no. of a sudden it's tuppence, you know. I mean, yeah, you've got nothing again to show for your Steam purchases, but on the other hand, wait a few months and you can get pick things up for sort of four quid, mobile mm. phone game prices, you know. I mean, like I said in the last video, what they should do is allow rival companies to upload startup stores like Amazon and stuff like that. Companies oh, yeah, like they're that. never going to do that, are they? I know they're not, but... Control will... is the ultimate thing yes. for a company, yeah. Um, How that is not considered a monopoly, I don't know. Well, I suppose the market would have to get an awful lot bigger. But hey, does anybody bloody care? These companies have so much weight with um, the judicial and legislative processes anyway that um, you know nothing's going to happen, is it? No, no, they'll, they'll suddenly go quiet. You know, yeah, like or find a way around it, etc., etc. But anyway, it's all good news. It means we'll be able to buy and sell second-hand games like there's no tomorrow. Yes. So does that mean have you pre-ordered your system already? No, and I'm very unlikely to. Oh. Um, well, you, get a, you get a special edition day one joypad. Wow, what's the difference? It Is it smeared in feces? No. <laughs> it's a picture of Steve Ballman laughing at you. On the <laughs> Thank fuck some idiots got it on day one. <laughs> no, it's, um, it's basically the regular edition, except it's got day one edition written on the joypad. whoop de fucking do yeah. I, d I, I would admit I do actually like day one consoles because I think aside from the Xbox 360, every single first edition of a console has always been the best iteration. Hmm, certainly true in the case of the PS3. Um, <laughs> although you did end up with a sort of yellow light of death, statistically, if you were unlucky. I've, but, um, I've, yeah, mine still works, touch wood. I've never seen one of the yellow I had. Uh, where's one, it one's, where's it? Ah. I've heard they are very common. In fact, from what I know, I don't know anybody with a launch PS3 or 360 that still works. Well, I tell you, I do know somebody with a launch 360 that still works, but that's because I fixed it. Ah. Um, it certainly did get the red ring of death. Uh, uh, yeah, I've, I have got a launch PS3, and that still works. Noise is all hell, but it's all right. And I think I do have a launch 
360, but I'm not touching it because I'm neurotic about not having it updated and getting the original dashboard system on it, the old Blades. Oh, God, it's got the Blades thing. I really like that Blade thing. It didn't last long, did it? (laughs) It's Microsoft trying to say that you don't have to update an entire console to get a new generation in it. Yeah. So I'm saying that. Uh, The other news, which is a... Well, not news, it's a (gasps) rumour. Yes. Uh, Microsoft have said that they will be releasing a version of the Xbox One without a Kinect, but for the same price. Okay, the first part made sense. Second part didn't make a whole lot of sense. <laughs> this has got con- uh, a large, expensive thing missing, and it costs the same amount of money. That's they can't do that. That would be the most stupid thing in the history of stupidity, which means they might. But um, bloody hell, um, yeah. I mean, I can fully understand them having an unbundled version to compete. You know, uh, price wise with yeah. the PS3, but hundred quid off would be happy. Everybody yeah. be happy. But exactly. I think it's the main thing. It's it's not having to get a Xbox One with a Connect. That's the problem. It's the problem is that it's mandatory. And they're going all about this stuff about you know it's being prismed and the NSA is going to be watching you. You make sure you're not doing any terrorist plots to blow up the White House or anything like that. Yes, whilst playing the latest Zumba fitness game. Yes. <laughs> that is a problem though because I can understand if you were buying one for your kids and they were going to have it in their bedroom you don't really want a device that's kind of looking at them most yeah. of the time do you? you know um, and it and the other thing about it counts how many people in the room so if you've got so many people watching a movie they have demand that you oh yeah I've seen all the patterns public for that. license and that oh, that's not it it's very so clever like... but um, yeah not entirely wanted to say the least just pushes people towards piracy again doesn't it exactly and or just covering up the R thing, you know, just keep up one thing so it only looks like only one person's watching the room. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it'll stop working if that happens. It'll have a way around. Oh yeah, it's probably not that stupid. But yeah. no, yeah, like I said, it hopefully it does mean that it's not mandatory that you have to have a connect connected. Because I, I my problem is I don't want I haven't got the space like most people. Yeah. This planet. Who has in this country? Yeah. Very, very few people. Unfortunately, I don't live in Wembley Stadium, so... so yes, the Royal Albert Hall. I rent it out every Thursday for a quick game of Kinect Joyride. Yeah. <laughs> and uh. So, yes, that's the main thing. But also, the other thing is, I don't want to shout at Xbox on every time I turn the machine on. No. You don't want to shout that out in the middle of the night, do you? I mean, <laughs> I mean it's... God forbid, you know, they've, they've had these things called buttons for over a hundred years on objects and that. I mean, what's, what's, I think it does involve left effort pressing a button just to shout at Xbox on. Yeah, it's, it's just some just trying to make some movement towards some bizarre Star Trek like future, isn't it? But yeah. you've got to start somewhere, but I don't really think that's anything necessary, is it, to no. say the least. So that's the end of that. I think Sony have been a bit quiet since. Haven't they since the since the PS3 four announced? Yeah, that is true actually. So they've not really done much to follow up. I think there's then uh, they announced that they were uh, well. I think they they said that they were going to do the same thing about the Xbox Vision. Uh, no, the PS4 Vision Cam was supposed to come with the PS4, but they dropped it at the same because uh, they said it was going to be too much expensive because. If yeah. their machine was going to be three fifty, that I mean made it four fifty, I mean it only more expensive. Yes, that's that's getting into crazy money territory. Yeah, yeah it's no good to me. Let's go make some crazy money. Money, yes. <laughs> but which soundtrack? Yeah. <laughs> uh, hmm, it's weird stuff. So, do you think this? There seems to be a lot of people saying, you know, oh man, it's people power. You know, we got together and shouted at them, and now Microsoft have gone back. There's got to be some sort of hard line to it, actually, that's upset them, isn't it? Because they don't give a shit um, about um, what the, you know the hardcore gamers are shouting. They know they can still sell it to mum and dad. Mm. So there's got to have been something happened. I think wasn't there something about Amazon pre-orders? They were taking in hard pre-orders for things, and they were loads of the PS4 and fuck all for the Xbox One. Yes, I think uh, the PS4 was being pre-ordered by eighty four percent more. And the extra. Oh, well, there we go. That's what did it, isn't it? <laughs> like, oh, yeah. Shit, this is actually going to affect the oh, bottom line. Yeah, there's nothing about what the customers want. It's about cold hard cash to these people. Well, exactly. This, you know, it's a business. It's all they exist for. Um, Money talks, but it don't sing and dance, and it don't walk. Um, 
Yeah, that's interesting. It's also interesting that old Major Nelson was having a go at Angry Joe, wasn't he? Oh, was in that it? video. Did you, did you not come I across have, that? I have not seen it yet, no. Oh, that was really good. It's like um, Angry Joe says something like, oh, man, but, you know, couldn't you just, you know, flip a switch on this online stuff and stop it happening? He's going like, flip a switch is not that easy. Are you a developer, Joe? Are you a developer? I don't think he actually sounds like that. But um, And Joe was like, oh, it's a bit rude, isn't it? And, yeah, Nelson was basically saying, you can't just suddenly do 180 and, you know, declare that the whole thing's going to be changed. It's just not possible. And sort of within about 48 hours, they did 180 they and did. declared it's the whole thing impossible did, eh? and flipped the switch. I think Major Nelson should be demoted to uh, Corporal Nelson. Corporal Nelson, yes. Yeah. Or half Nelson. Half Nelson. <laughs> <laughs> Minor Nelson. There we go. That's the one. The I always thought Nelson. that about um, was uh, John Sargent. Was he a lower rank, lower ranked version of John Major? <laughs> Started off as John Private. Yes. <laughs> but just before he dies, it'll be John Colonel. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so dear. this uh, and another thing that has recently surfaced from an um, an employee of. Uh, Rare, uh, uh, why Microsoft actually bought the company originally. Oh. Uh, the main Is it because they thought it was Rare and it was like something on eBay where they put Rare after an item so they think it's worth more? Uh, well, it's sort of right. What? <laughs> well, no, it's no, actually you're not. No, you're not that. But they, they, <laughs> they bought the company because they thought, uh, mainly because they wanted the intellectual properties they owned. Yeah. Uh, and the main reason they bought them because they thought they owned the right to Donkey Kong. What? But the, the, surely that was under license from Nintendo. Yes. Well, they didn't know that. They thought Rare owned Donkey Kong, and that's why they wanted to buy it, because they wanted... Like, what the, big... the fuck? Oh, I can't believe that. Nobody's that incompetent <laughs> when it comes to large sums. It is, yes. Surely. That's just ludicrous. But what have they actually got from... What are Rare's properties? Killer Instinct. Killer uh, Instinct. Con- Dark. Conquer. Con- oh, yeah. Conquer, yeah. Uh... They've uh, they released Jetpack on the 360 Xbox Live Arcade. I see. Uh, Tell you what they have got. Blast Core, one of my favourite games. Blast never fucking did anything with never that. Never released. That's a fantastic game, that was. It was. Absolutely fantastic. You can't, the, you can't uh, play it on a uh, LCD telly properly, though. Can't you? No, the colours. Uh, there's something wrong with the colours in it, and they make them sort of all glarish and that. You can't play them properly. Bloody hell, you have to do it with an emulator or something. Play it for a CRT telly. Oh, bloody wars. So, yes. Why don't they update that or do a new version of that? Did it sell really badly or something? I don't know. I think they were planning to make a sequel at one point, but they sort of cancelled it. My favourite thing about that game is laughing at idiots who pronounced it Blast Corpse. <laughs> Which is a new zombie game coming out. <laughs> yes. <laughs> sequel to Corpse Killer, yeah. Yes. Uh, uh, yeah, the truth is that one of the main reasons Microsoft bought Rare is because they thought they owned the rights to Donkey Kong. Oh, I, I genuinely can't believe that. It's probably true, but I refuse to believe it just because it's so frightening. <laughs> yeah, it's just completely dumb as all. We used to claim we had the rights to it. I do, yes. Yeah, Donkey Kong was actually uh, based on Larry, who at the time dressed exactly like Mario, or Jumpman, as is Larry's real name. Yes, it is, yes. 15 million, please. Exactly. Yeah, and originally, I was a burning barrel that chases you up ladders. <laughs> <laughs> you, you were the, the flame with eyes. <laughs> But I had a very extensive plastic surgery, and now I look exactly like um, the woman at the top, whose name I can't remember. Have you Pauline, ever... was it? Uh, when act when a claim went bust, you can actually buy the intellectual properties to a lot of their games for really really cheap, like uh, seven hundred quid. Oh man! And because uh, I thought about buying the rights to Vex, I don't know why. Oh yeah. So Vex was a quite an interesting game, but nobody cares about it. But uh, but uh, they had things like uh, the uh, BMXXX series. Oh my god, BM Triple X. So basically, all their own games you can actually buy the rights to, but I think I'm not sure what happened. I think a lot of people never bought them in the end. So some of them are technically still for sale. Bizarre. Did you see on eBay, of all places, they were selling on eBay the old television, the cable television channel, um, Live TV? No. Not only selling the rights, but um, the actual. master tapes and everything and so you would get like thousands and thousands of hours of uh, entertainment for those of you who don't know which will probably be most of you live tv was like a cable channel in the uk in the relatively early days of cable and they did really bizarre um programs was that that thing with midget on a trampoline that's it the weather. the weather was presented by a dwarf on a trampoline 
Uh, the news was presented by News Bunny, which was like a man in a rabbit suit. There was a lot of topless women going on with pretty much everything. They had a quasi-soft core pornographic soap opera, I believe, um, and an art program which consisted of naked women just, well, topless at the least, painting each other. Yet you could actually own not only the um, master tapes, but the rights to all the programs. <laughs> and, you know, people do use clips of it on various other programs and shows. Like Charlie Brooker, really. Yeah, well, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Just license it out to Zeppotron for <laughs> yeah. half the time, and there you go. But, um, yeah, that wasn't that weird thing. It only went for a few thousand. I did briefly consider it, but then I thought, well, the problem there is, of course, um, fucking hell, where would I keep these thousands of uh, tapes? You could buy uh, the entire catalogue of shows made by X-League uh, for a while for a £1,000. Would that mean I owned all your retro corners? Uh, I think you own the rights to show them. Oh, that's no good. I want to charge other people for showing them, because they yeah. show them constantly. <laughs> well, they show them get information TV they're on all the time. So. It'd be like um, when uh, Michael Jackson bought all the Beatles songs and upset his relationship with Paul McCartney, wouldn't it? <laughs> terrible that was indeed a dark day it was indeed the joke goes that um mccartney or jackson asked mccartney um oh what's a good way of making money he said i'll oh, buy the rights to other people's songs so he bought the rights to his <laughs> <laughs> which is a bit you know oh but paul it's all just you're being all ignorant. just business you're being ignorant fuck you i wrote those songs i bled for those songs yeah, on, mainly out of my nose and on drugs because <laughs> yes exactly uh, so yes, so that's mainly the main things that happened since E3. Uh, I don't know what else has happened. I don't know if, uh, if I don't. Uh, I think that was Don all the big announcements. Committed seppuku or something. <laughs> <laughs> who was the second who took his head off at the point of disembowelment? <laughs> that's the question. Uh, has Nintendo announced anything at all? Uh, they well, they've not announced anything since. They've said they they purposely didn't announce the new Zelda game for Wii U, the new original Zelda game, the remake of uh, Wind Waker, yes. Uh, yes, because they didn't want to overshadow their other titles. Mm. Which, which probably means, in other words, that nobody gives a shit about anything except Zelda nowadays, doesn't they? Yeah, that, that's so. exactly true, yes. I mean, mm. you don't even get excited about the new Mario games anymore, do you, really? Nope. Oh look, it's a new, another new, new Super Mario Brothers game. Who's are? It's the, almost the same again. Hooray! Um, I was quite disappointed when they just said their their new, new 3D Mario game is just a, sort of a remake of the 3DS one. I'd have been more excited if they just announced they're going to remake an HD version of Mario Sunshine. Really? Oh yeah, that would be nice. Wouldn't it? Or some sort of sequel to that. Mm. Or well, something interesting, Mario like a new Galaxy game or something. Just not. The, you know the basic stuff mm. again and again and again in slightly different formats so here's a question for you how long is it going to be after they've released the you know the new consoles ps4 xbox one that the previous gen i.e ps3 and uh xbox 360 games are being thrown out for fuck all in secondhand shops and mm. by gaming shops that is the the, the million dollar question Mm. It often it, it seems to take a while now, doesn't it? Especially if they support the PS3 and uh, 360 for a well, while. The, the Xbox One got dumped immediately, didn't it? The first Xbox. Oh God, yeah, that was really. Good. Whereas the PS2, um, Still... price kept for ages before they really sold them off, didn't it? Still buy FIFA games until very recently for the PS2. Yeah, the, the last PS2 game released is FIFA 14. Wow. Yeah, I, I just read that somewhere the other day. Well, so EA, is always, they lying. Always, EA always seems to be the ones to turn off the lights, really, for any system. Probably yeah, mainly because... Oh, yeah. Did they ever release anything for the Dreamcast? No, they boycotted it because they got annoyed with how they were treated for the Saturn. Oh, dear. Blimey, that probably didn't help the Dreamcast. I never realised that on there, but yeah, there was no FIFA or anything for it. Yes, uh, and that's the same reason, sort of the same echoes of what's happening with the Wii U. Yeah, I was going to say, that's... Hmm. Perhaps not positive. No, I'm looking forward to that as I'm trying to collect every Xbox 360 game. And the other so thing that... is, this gener- the end of this generation, the games with the most rarest come out as well. Yeah, Isn't that's it? true. Yeah, yeah, fucking if I'd bought some of those la- end of the Saturn era games, oh, I'd be pissing champagne, Larry. Yes, I wish I bought a box full of Panzer Dragoon sagas. Yeah, bloody hell, a few burning so, Rangers. Auto Saga, yeah. Saga, yeah, Auto was the Xbox one. Mm. 
bloody hell. So here's a good th- question, actually. Yes. Um, I'm trying to get all the 360 games. I've got 574 of the fuckers at the minute. Oh, is that all? Yeah. Um, it still takes up a lot of bloody space. Um, I've paid fuck all for any of them, obviously. But um, which ones do you think will be rarest? What do I need to get hold of before they disappear? Oh, I don't know. Like I said, I think it'll be the, the late generation ones. Mm. There's always uh, a few which have been done in low numbers or didn't sell. A lot of the regular editions, the ones that don't, the ones that they bring out a special edition in the still book, uh, the, the regular editions are sometimes worth more. Ah, uh, regular... I'm, I'm not going for that. I'm literally just going oh, okay. for the individual games. Don't care what box they're in. Oh, you're not doing sort of variations or anything. Oh God, no! God, I'd, I'd, oh, that'd be impossible. It'd be better to hang yourself with your own intestines. I think some of the uh, the Japanese. Uh, sh- sort of the bullet hell games they yeah. worth quite a bit and the great thing is they tend to go really cheap shortly after release so I've already got Akai Katana and Death Smiles and everything I like got that. Death Smiles in game from a typo when they first come out because they're selling for thirty nine ninety nine, but they put the decimal point in the wrong place so I got it for three ninety nine. <laughs> so I got it for £399 yes yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> I soon showed them yeah uh, that's pretty nifty. Um, Death Smiles, I think I got for like 12 quid very shortly after release. Um, it's, I think th- it's always Zavi who's spitting those ones out. They do it with the Japanese fighters as well, like Arcana Heart and, um, you know, Blaze Blue and all that stuff. It's a funny old world. It is indeed. So, yes, like I said, the bullet... If that, um, that game that you like, the Earth Defense Force, that's <gasps> quite a bit, isn't it? Yeah, EDF, EDF, EDF. Yeah, I've got two copies of that, so I can lend one out and still have one. <laughs> That's how much I like that and game. For someone to scratch up. Yeah, yes, exactly. Yeah. Don't care about that. I've got my own. Um, a Train HX. I bet that's going to be a rarity. Oh, I've got a pirate copy of that. I have an original. It's fucking terrible. It is. I've, I played it once. Couldn't get into it. Battle Chess. That's something I've never seen in a shop, I don't think. Um, I think. Another thing you may want to look out for if you're lucky enough to download them, the games that have been removed from Xbox Live Arcade. I mean, Double Dragon and Speedball 2. Has that been removed? Yeah, they they both have, yeah. Um, Also, uh, Outrun Online has been removed for licensing reasons. I do actually have that. Um, The problem is, what can you do with them if they're stuck on your Xbox? Well, like I said, it's a hard drive itself that's going to be valuable, so... Yeah. And I do know um, that people who sell Wii's, anybody who's got a large collection of virtual console games, that's worth a lot more. Which makes sense. To which an makes extent, sense. yes. Yeah. This just... brings about the bigger question, and this this goes back to the Xbox One thing of, you know, um, oh, you can't sell the game secondhand. Why does video games have such a short shelf life as compared to any other form of entertainment? If you want a DVD of some shit sub Z movie made in 1972 you can get two different versions hmm. and, and you haven't even got to go to Amazon you find an HMV or something but once a video game has been out for like three months it disappears off the face of the fucking earth unless it gets a re-release or game of the year mm. Goatee edition yes Gotier edition that's mm. it that's where that bloke sings um, oh, I think, I think because the licensing rights are so strict mm. it's weird how it's so transient isn't it just oh they're gone you never buy them again you well, know, I, unless I, you get them second hand. I used to like the old days in the 80s when uh, you used to get a game. Uh, if you don't want to pay full price for it, wait a, a couple of months and it come out for a 2 99 version. Yay, wait, re-releases. And wait a little bit longer and you get a compilation of about five or ten of them. Those were the days. Yes. Well, I mean, they still do the classic releases where they'll stick them out again for 20 quid, won't they? Yeah, but I want to see a return on a compilation. So it's yeah, comp- fucking hell. Ten man. great games. Yep. At least five of them are copies of Chase HQ. Yeah. <laughs> you get that to an extent with Xbox Live titles and that, that yeah. they shove out on disc. But, um, yeah, the compilation, whatever happened to that. Well, I don't know, again, there's something you do get similar as an HD collection, don't you? It's Which is so usually much... missing the one game you would want. Yeah. But, um... I remember Metal Gear, wasn't it? Metal yeah, and Silent Hill. Silent Hill. So, yeah, they, I think they... They were going to be doing a Time Splitters one as well, but that seems to have disappeared into. The oh, week. that would be nice. The Time Splitters games were fantastic. Mm. Although, really, you'd only want two. I think that was the best. Two it? was the best one, yeah. The yeah. third one was good because it had online. That's the main thing. And you could design. Oh, didn't realise that. And somebody at the company recreated all the GoldenEye multiplayer maps. 
for free on the heart on the disc. Wow, that's pretty fucking excellent. But then again, any, everybody, people only bothered playing facility, really, didn't they? Yeah, <laughs> yes. And running around, and you can't be your job. Can't be your job, and you can't hide in the toilet spamming the door with proxy mines. Yeah. <laughs> running around windmilling your arm in some sort of uh, judo chop position. <laughs> Slappers <laughs> only. God. So, yes, that was it. Christ almighty. Hmm. There, there's, another problem is there are certain games, mainly MMOs, but there are certain games that, because of the online nature of them, you'll never play again once they, once the servers are gone. That's the end of it. Game is defunct. Like Shadowrun. Yeah, that's dead, isn't it? Uh, Twisted Metal Black for the PS2. Oh, that's a shame. What, Chris Metal Black Online? There's an offline version. Ah, that'll be the online version then I'm thinking of. I wondered why I got it so cheap at the time and I put it in like, oh, <laughs> you can never play this game again. Counter Strike on the original Xbox, that's worth this now. Oh, I didn't realise that. Um, because the servers are dead and you got. And uh, Fantasy Star. Or... Yeah. Some of the MMOs which didn't last five minutes. Lego Universe, anybody? I, um, I did buy the Goatee edition of. Home front on the Xbox, and about a week later the servers went dead. So that was worth. That's worthless now. Bloody how much? There is a single player campaign. On there that. is a single player campaign. Oh yeah, so you can still technically play it. The, the difference between the regular edition and the Goatee edition is you get loads of multiplayer maps on it. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> I know so home front didn't last long then, because it's not that old a game, is it? Only a couple of years. Oh, uh, WWE All Stars. The servers are dead on that as well. Oh god! As we used to get, I got quite upset about that because we used to play that quite a bit online. Fucking hell, man! They finally turned off Demon's Souls. Dark Souls is still running, of course, but it's oh, a shame because a lot of that was based on online stuff. You know, the sort of tendencies of the world towards light and dark and all this stuff. But now, it is utterly meaningless. They've turned off the online servers to Ghostbusters on the PS3, but the 361 still running. How bizarre! I didn't even know there was an online component to that. It's a co-op sub game. Oh, does that have split screen? I can't tell you that. Probably not is the answer, but you never know. I think there's a... Uh, no, um, the Wii version's got co-op, but the other versions oh. don't. Oh, well, bloody hell. How bizarre. Split screen, yeah. Hmm. So, yes, so um, that's pretty much all we've got for E3, really. Apart from moaning about e uh, Microsoft backtracking and Sony doing nothing and Nintendo releasing stuff that you didn't really care about. Yeah, that is what. What do you think is in store for the Wii U? Is it uh, things that aren't looking too good at the second? Probably uh, looking forward to more eighteen-month-old Xbox Three Hundred and Sixty games. Oh God, that's they, embarrassing, isn't it? They look exactly the same. Yes, uh, they got they just well just released Lego Batman Two, which came out eighteen months ago, and uh, Sniper Elite Two, which. Uh, is not only 80 months old and 50 quid, uh, they've also taken out the multiplayer mode and <gasps> challenge maps. I bought that for PC for like four quid or something. Bloody hell. And they wonder why people don't want to buy the games anymore. Good grief. When I mean, they got Batman that's... Arkham Origins coming out for it, but where? Hey, that's a new game. Yes. But that's probably not coming out until 2015. <laughs> 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 Just to keep up with tradition here. So, you know, here's a weird thing for you. Do you remember back in the days of the 8-bits, there was the Spectrum version, the Amstrad version, the Commodore 64 version, and they all looked and quite often played completely differently, didn't they? Mm. And as time has gone on, the um, consoles have become closer and closer to the point now where you can have a PS3, 360 and Wii U version running all next to each other, and you've got to look really hard to notice any differences at all in the graphics. Mm. And obviously the sound is pretty much identical. Do you think that is going to move away a bit? when it comes on, because the PS4 does have noticeably more grunt than the Xbox One, doesn't it? Not to a massive extent, but more than the difference at the moment. Uh, I think, well, basically, they always make a game for the weakest machine. Mm. So, it's what's known as lowest common denominator, as they like to call it. That's but, yeah, true. So, it, so you have to look at the exclusives, is what you're saying? Yes. Mm. And I must say, the, the exclusives on the PS3 are better than the 360 ones. Do you know, I didn't see any th exclusives for the PS3, which interested me, really. There weren't that many for the Xbox One either, but... Um, like I said, The Last of Us is great fun. Yeah. Uh, 
But that's not it's not going to be on the PS4, is it? They've not announced it yet. I don't know if they want to do. Sorry, a... I meant um, PS4, Xbox One exclusives, because that's what's going to. Why would there be an Xbox One exclusive on a PS4? No, no, no. I mean, <laughs> this has gone to a strange place. No, I mean, um, you know, you'll be able to tell the difference, you know, technically between the Xbox One, PS4, by um, the quality of the exclusives, is what you're saying. Mm. But what exclusives are coming out for them? Which ones do you actually want to play? Ooh, well, they got Killzone. Oh, for fuck's sake. Uh, they've got that 1881 game. I can't remember the name. 1884. Oh, they, they, this game's set in the Civil War, American Civil War. Hmm. Can't uh, remember that one. How bizarre. I, don't, I can't recall them announcing many ex- PS3 games, actually. PS4? PS, no, PS3 as well. I mean PS3 as well. This is the I keep saying PS3 when I mean PS4, and that is immensely confusing. I can't remember the Xbox One exclusive, something the, the new Dead Rising game. They managed to make that look generic and dull. Well, it's because they took out the humour. Yeah, and put in apparently that's going to be a timed exclusive now. Somebody said. Oh, so it doesn't matter as long as you're patient. To be fair, kids aren't, are they? But um, when you get to our age, you don't mind waiting a month. Yes. Unless every fuck is playing online on the other version and the online's really good. Mm. A bit like with FIFA, how um, you basically have to buy the new version as soon as it's released because everybody pisses off the old one. Mm. And Madden, I suppose, if you're American. And NBA. Well, they've abandoned the NBA series to an extent, really, haven't they now? Yeah, I heard that. That really surprised me. I always thought all these sports franchises were very lucrative for them. No, they're doing them less and less the other ones, unless it's American football or soccer. As I call it, um, yeah. they don't really do yearly ones of it. They used to do NASCAR every. Oh, a PGA, PGA every year. Oh yes, that is the other big one, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, but uh, stuff like NASCAR. I mean, they used to have a cricket game, didn't they, for a while? So. Yes, they did several years, didn't they? Um, yeah, bloody, I'd forgotten that. The uh, NASCAR yeah. ones, they they do occasionally get released over here, don't they? Yes, uh, uh, not since two thousand nine. I don't think that's the last one we got. Uh, baseball's pretty much dead over here, isn't it, really? The games. Yeah. Have they ever really released baseball? Well, they used to occasionally, didn't they? Um, I, I, I did enjoy the Saturn ones. Mainly because there's a guy, uh, there was a baseball player we used to laugh our heads off at because his name's Ivan Batista, but it was spelt butt taster. <laughs> 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 Ivan, Ivan. <laughs> I need your help, Ivan. <laughs> I think I've got a disease in my butt. <laughs> Lick it and tell me. <laughs> uh, nah, I mean, yeah, we don't get the baseball at all, do we? I can't even think of the last time a baseball game was released. We don't even get rounders. <laughs> or ever, netball. Has there ever been a rounders video game? No, not a major league one to my knowledge, nor netball. <laughs> major league rounders. <laughs> oh, God, that'd be great. Like a playground games compilation. You've got rounders, you've got netball... British Bulldog they, uh, um, fighting. Do you remember there's a football series on the PS2 and PS3 called This Is Football? Yes, that rings a bell. They had a mode called Jumpers for Goalposts in that, and it played as a schoolyard. Oh my god. Brilliant. I think my nephew had a version of This Is Football. Remember the first one, we used to get action figures, hold them up to the eye toy, and then scan them into the game. Oh. That was quite amusing. I want a proper schoolboy football game, you know, about 50 people on each side and they're kicking around a tennis ball. (laughs) Just constant fights. There was a game like that for Spectrum called Street Sports Soccer. And occasionally the game, somebody would score a goal and somebody would go, no, it isn't. So it was a bloody goal. No, it wasn't. All these little speech bubbles would come up. And then they'd have a fight about it. And whoever won the fight got the um, referee, you know, choosing their side. Ah wasn't much of a fight. I oh, think okay. it was just a big dust cloud and you had to waggle the joystick. Did they have the fat kid in gold as well? Yes. Okay. They, they literally did, if I recall. <laughs> and part of the pitch, it was all like a road, but part of the pitch you could go up through some people's back gardens and things like that. It was really nicely done. It was only a simple little three quid game. but um, well, That's excellent. So, yeah. Why did they have more invention in those days? And... See, that's what they should be putting out on the Wii U. British playground games. Mm. Taunting the effeminate kid. You know, all the classics. Yeah. <laughs> Knockdown Ginger. <laughs> what, what was the rules of Knockdown Ginger? I can remember that being banned in our school, but nobody knew what it was. 
<laughs> it was it just knock on people's doors and stand there for as long as possible before they answer it. Oh. So it's a den who could see how long he could dare to stand in front of their door before they opened it. Bloody hell, I thought you had to um, go and find a ginger kid and knock him over. No, 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 it's nothing to do with gingers. Why was it banned at our school then? How bizarre. I don't know. It's a bit like Danger Wank, really. <laughs> <laughs> they, that's not going to get a Wii U version. <laughs> well, you can at least use a Wii Mote for it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dearie me. You don't want to uh, deep into explaining the rules of Danger Wank, do you? No, but okay. let's avoid that. And people can look that up on Yes, or people, somebody can leave it in the comments. So, yes, <laughs> that's something for them to do. Get a yeah. account banned, probably. <laughs> oh, man, I really want... We should, we should talk about this more in the future. We should come up yes. with playground games that they could release on the Wii U as a party thing. That would be good. That would be... Because uh, we're planning a podcast, aren't we? Because a lot of people have asked they would like to listen to us. Yep. So, God knows why. I can yes. imagine they... Deaf or something. Yeah. Um, if you enjoy listening to monotonic British people, you know. <laughs> I don't like this thing. Um, yeah, that's a really good idea. We should think on that and get back to it. We later. should do, yes. So that's something to look forward to you, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, when we get around to doing it in 2017. Yes. <laughs> we'll come out the same week as our Cascade Cassette Sifty review. <laughs> yeah. no, that's 2023. I'll oh, okay. <laughs> do it on my 50th birthday. Yeah. Oh, dear. Anyway, we should probably go before yes. Christmas die. Okay, well, thanks very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we should be following this up with a proper podcast in the foreseeable future, hopefully, as soon as we work out how to get stuff on iTunes, but we will be doing it on the YouTubes as well, for people who don't like Apple. Yes. Yes. But uh, thanks very much. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Shall we go? Let's. Okay. Hello there once again, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the E3 recap, starring myself, Guru Larry, and my good friend, Dr. Stuart Ashen. Hello. But we're not actually recapping, though, are we? Oh, no, we're not recapping. Oh, okay. <laughs> What's it? What is it? What is this bloody thing? I don't know. E th- post E3 extra? Post E3, yes. Uh, um... <laughs> we're going to recap the recap. Yeah. <laughs> so, is that work? Shall we recap the recap? Um, so let's just start again. I'm confused now. <laughs> uh, follow up. That's the word. Follow up. Yeah. yeah, yeah good that's stuff. it. Okay, we'll start again. That works for me. Okay. <laughs>